Well, this project hasn't been going on, hasn't been going exactly as easy as I thought it would be going. There's been a lot of problems with this project, such as uh, defective rocket motors, <laughs> things exploding, <laughs> things not working right, the first missile kind of failing and all of that. Actually, let me take you inside. Over the past few days, I've been building more of these rockets in between all the distractions and such. I'm going to hang these airplanes from my mom. That looks amazing. And so does this food. Oh. I've been getting quite a bit done. Like, actually, this is like, uh, oh, which one is this one? I don't know. This is one of the rockets that didn't really work out. The mechanism actually got stuck on this one. So that's no good. This is the first one you saw last week, but that was just a prototype. This one over here decided to actually not start folding anymore. So this is a totally broke can. I gutted it. This is the one with a major meltdown. When that case exploded in that rocket, it actually shot half of the burning engine core inside of this thing all the way to the front. So the whole thing is like roasted. That doesn't look very cool. So in between all those rockets, well, uh, one second. This rocket actually right here, this one actually did resume one test flight. It was launched on a stick, a uh, brew handle to be more precise, just to see what the rocket engine would do as far as flight forces, how far it would go with the simulated weight. This was actually a little bit overweight. So that was pretty good of a test. I got one thing to work at least between these exploding engines. Thanks a lot, Estes. Look at these things. E96s. Every single one of them filled the exact same way. I'm pretty sure Estes screwed up somewhere in the manufacturing process on these motors. What I think they did with these guys right here is they forgot to put the uh, delay charge in there and instead had a rocket motor core with the engine parts and all that stuff and then black powder specifically, or something went wrong with the packing and all that because the motors would burn just fine. And a split second later, when they're still combusting, the whole engine would explode. It would blow the plug out of the motor, the nozzle and all that junk and shoot half the core going forward. And the case luckily didn't explode. So they weren't at exactly M80s. And uh, yeah, that's quite a bit of a setback on that part. So two rockets wasted on that one. So here we are, prototype number four. It's pretty good. I'm happy with it. I think this is going to work a lot better. It's really sturdy on this one, considering it's all plywood, and I've learned from all my mistakes in the past design. I'm happy with this, so my buddy Sam's going to be over in a little bit, and we're going to go shoot this. So hopefully I can stick a nail in this video and go and upload it later on today, maybe tonight or so. I don't know, whenever I do it. And continue on with this project, because the next thing i got to do is i got to build the javelin tube itself. I've been neglecting that for this issue right here mainly being this is not working exactly the way it's supposed to be and i've been playing with the black powder loads for shooting these out of the tube so i'm a little behind schedule i'm gonna go ahead and decorate that and make that look like the missile launcher i gotta add fpv to these because i'm actually gonna fly these things through the screen and try to hit a target with them so that'll be next week's or maybe the next two weeks video when that comes out so go ahead and feel free to go ahead and like subscribe and uh, i'll see you guys uh, maybe next week or maybe the next two weeks when i got an update for you